I would go, I would, I would go on record and say we have the longest fur in existence right here. And slam one shots everything. Imagine somebody's just like lassoing a fur at you and just bop. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode of the Pokemon Sinking Sapphire Nuzlocke. My name is Seabad, and we are here today with episode number... Five! We're here with episode number five. If you guys are excited, well, frankly, you guys know what to do. And if you guys want to see more of this on Friday, well, you know what to do as well. Uh, and of course, if you guys are new, feel free to subscribe for more so you guys don't miss out the, if you guys missed the last episode, click or tap somewhere above in the top right corner of the screen so you guys can go check it out. We did get our first badge, and we are going to do a little bit of a team recap here. First up, we have Dake, the Psyduck. She's level 16 with Confusion, Scratch, Tail Up, and Water Gun, the Damp ability. She is bold and scanners things often. Next up, we have Bufiana, the Poochiana. He's level 16 with Fire Fang, Howl, Sand Attack, and Bite, the Quick Feet ability. He is brave and capable of taking hits. The next Pokemon up we have is Harold. Harold, the Marsh Tom. He is level 19 with Yawn Rock, two Mortar Pulse, and Mud Shot. The Torrent's ability. He is serious and scatter things often, but he will not scatter your candy bars. He is a dedicated salesman. He is honing his craft. Next up we have Casey the Furret. She is level 16 with Cut, Slam, Defense, Curl, and Quick Attack. The Limber ability. Casey is jolly and takes plenty of CSs, and I would do anything for a nap right now. Next up, we have Danny Phantom. He's level 16 with Horn Leech, Confuse Ray, Astonishing Growth. The Natural Cure ability. He is brave and loves to eat, as we all do. And we've got Edwards in the Dodo. Level 13, Pack Fury, Attack, Quick Attack, and Rage. Run away. He's timid and he's pretty curious. I'd be pretty curious too if I was a timid Dodo because, you know, what else, what else are you really doing at that point, you know? In this episode, we are going to be traveling onwards to the... Whoa, connecting cave the thing of bob up here uh we've got some hot topic employees to deal with and then uh probably get another encounter or two and seeing where the wind takes us oh uh, you there you're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg woods he helped me i was robbed by team aqua and hot topic i have to get the devon parts back if i don't uh -huh, i'm gonna be in serious trouble all right sir fret not we will you know detective seabed is on the case here we are going to do just what we need to do in order to make sure that you're taken care of. And I think we should actually probably try to switch train Edwardson a little bit. I know, I know, I'm such, such, I don't even know what the word is for this right now. It's not hypocrite. What's the word I'm looking for? Hypocrite. I'm talking about how much I don't want to use uh, Edwardson. And now we need to switch train him. But we need to because Edwardson will come in handy in some aspect at the next gym. So... We're just going to do what we need to do. And if I learn Air Cutter by then, then so be it. I'm okay with it. Especially because we get to train up on... I, I never understood why Flabebe was not grass type. I know when we played Harmony, they made the Flabebe, Floet, and Florgis line all grass harmonic type, which was the, the, the typing that replaced fairy typing in that custom ROM hack. Definitely go check that out if you guys haven't. But the... They made a grass harmonic type, or Echnoid did, so being able to it's just it's just lodged in my brain now that it's just it should be a grass type. This Mary, however, is not a grass type, and we are not staying out with Edwardson for that. We could, we could have switched trained. Hindsight's 2020, I'm a dingus. But we'll just we'll just keep on carrying on because we do get another encounter in that cave. And quite frankly, I'm excited to see what we get because if it is a flying type Pokemon, that would be really, really cool. Because then we could, you know, Edwardson can man down. The fort in the PC, you know? Danny grew to level 17, though. And then Skitty. So let's go out into... Uh, Casey hasn't done much since she evolved. Let's send out Casey, because she did save us back in episode 3. So we need to sh let her strut her stuff as a furret now. Especially because she's got such tiny little hands. that she's just going to throw her whole long body over that Skitty and just blep. Blep one shot. Casey's going to be a powerhouse. Casey is going to be a powerhouse. Mark my words right here, ladies and gentlemen. Put a dollar on the table. Bet me on it. You can use that money that you win to purchase candy from Harold. Let us... Uh, we can see... This is all still one route, isn't it? So what else could we have gotten? Oh, we could have gotten a Mary. That would have been so wonderful. I would have loved it. Sigh. Sigh. Oh, and I've got Runaway. I was like, wait, please don't get... Please don't get stuck. Please don't say you can't run away. But I've got Runaway. Aha. Aha, ha, ha. What else could we have gotten? We know we got the Growlithe. 
Oh my god, Natsu would have been so good. Psychic and flying. Oh, get out from under my desk, you guys, because you're pulling my legs right now. Stop. Stop. Oh, upsetty, upsetty spaghetti. If the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. He's a pirate hiker. He's a pirate hiker with a Rhyhorn, apparently. So this is going to be some juicy experience. Can we get a Rhyhorn in that cave? I know it's counterproductive to what we need for the team right now, but I am all about, I am all about getting a Rhyhorn. I am, mm, mm. I know I said it when I caught him, you know, how just how often, but you see, he's got Smackdown already. Come on. That would have bodied Edwardson if we would have stayed in. Just one shot. Take him to the cleaners. Put him on the table for Thanksgiving dinner. He's gone. Apparently, there's cleaners for Thanksgiving dinner now. You should, should really look into that. Entrepreneurship's taking, taking a huge rise right now. With everybody staying at home, they're trying to find other ways of doing stuff. If you are, if you are an entrepreneur, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm curious. Let me know what you guys is. Let me know what you guys thing is. Your business, your side hustle. I'm curious. I'm always so fascinated by that. I am a huge listener of Gary V and the Gary V experience. I, I read books. I mean, it just, it really is like, I love it. I love it. I guess that's why I'm so passionate about doing like my full-time job and then also doing YouTube and Switch as well. You know, just like diversifying everything and just providing for my family and just doing as much as I can. And I'm, I'm curious if, if there's any of you guys, you know, watching at home right now, what is your, uh, what you know, what are your, or if you want to be an entrepreneur later in life, you know, maybe you're really young and you've been, looking into it you know let me know that's something that i would i would find really really cool and if you have not shared that with somebody before feel free to take time in the comment section of today's video and and let me know because that would be a wonderful read i love i have been loving reading the comments on these videos you guys just seriously make my day just light up whenever i get a chance to go through and read the comment section whether you guys like the edits whether you guys like the new memes, whether you guys have new meme suggestions, um, any, any, anything and everything, man. You guys you guys have been awesome, and this series has really kind of relit a fire underneath me for, for content, and I think it's brought a lot of new faces into the channel, and it's, and it's brought a lot of old faces uh, to the channel as well, which is really, really awesome. A lot of old faces that might not have been too keen on the content are coming back around and saying like, wow, that Chase guy is, is pretty funny. I don't remember Crimson Seabed, or I remember Crimson Seabed, not Seabed, but... The sea bad guy is pretty funny. I guess he bought the channel out or something. And that's what we're going to tell them happened. I bought the YouTube channel. Imagine me. Have you ever seen Crimson Seabad and I in the same place? I have not. Uh, what's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. That tunnel's filled with Pokemon that react badly to loud noises. They could cause an uproar. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling. I'm worried that that goon will do something stupid and startle the Pokemon into an uproar. Let's go in there, but first there's like an item up. There it is. I wasn't sure where it was on here, but I knew there was one of those, an X special attack. And then I think there's one right here. No, okay. Oh, what am I to do? We were just out on our walk, Pico and I, when we were attacked by an odd thug. And then that scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Where are you, Pico? Someone signed me up for Pokemon's voice acting class. We do get an encounter here in Rust Turf Tunnel. I'm going to tread ever so lightly. So it looks like there's an Encada in this tunnel. Which isn't bad, because for a Nuzlocke, we can get Ninjask and Shedinja. Not bad. Oh, it was a Pokeball. I was wondering if it was going to be something. So let's, I, I guess we're just going to do a little bit of this action until something pops out at me. Wouldn't be bad for Nuzlocke, and Ninjask, and, and Shedinja. Oh, Spinarak. Is that what was on my radar? And do I have the dumb? I might have the dumb. Let's quick attack the Spinarak here. Quick attack the Spinarak. Quick attack the Spinarak. Somebody make a somebody make a beat. We're freestyling right now. We're doing it. Let's catch this Spinarak. It's gonna be like impish Spinarak. Well, no. You, what would we want? We would want bold Spinarak. Like a positive defense minus special attack nature spinner or minus attack nature spinner. That's what we want. And if it's a bold spinner rack, I'm going to be the milkshake again. That's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to be the milkshake again. Oh, this was the first encounter. So it wasn't in Kata that was in here. Give a nickname to the spinner rack we caught. I am going to call you Miles. 
because it reminds me of Miles Morales, who plays one of the Spider-Man variants. Oh, Miles has been transferred to box one, so we can't even take a look at Miles yet, which is fine, I suppose. Let's go on ahead and battle this Hot Topic employee. What? You coming for a buy two banties, get one free? Come on, get some then. Uh, kill all it all. This hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless, and to think I made a getaway into this tunnel to nowhere. And you, now you're here to battle me on me lunch break? Really? Yes, really. Really, I always love these little intros. Purloin. The little, like, animated battle drops. I always thought that was really, really cool. I would love to get that, like, redone, but with, like, my logo, that'd be super sick. Let's... I mean, I guess Edward sends another one to... Some sizable damage, I suppose. Oh, we don't take that well at all. Never mind. I lied. I lied right to your faces. We're not taking that sizable damage. Come on out, Casey. Casey, however, can take hits because, I mean, that is just the longest fur it I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure Casey is a record-breakingly long fur it. I would go, I would, I would go on record and say we have the longest fur it in existence right here and slam one shot everything. Imagine somebody's just like lassoing a fur it at you and just bop. Like that just happens. Edwardson wants to learn pursuit. Okay, that could be good. Let's get rid of Fury Attack. I was used to call it furry attack growing up. I was like, what are you attacking it with? What are you doing? For Vanha. Uh-oh, I have bad memories. Le <laughs> Harold! Harold! Let's go out and Harold to save us. I have bad Carvanha memories. We are going to blow this Carvanha backwards. So help me God. You are getting the meanest mud shot. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Eat that, you fish. Before I eat you. Yo, sushi sounds great. Sushi sounds fantastic right now. Whalmer. Um, let's go out into Danny here. Take on that Whalmer. I'm I'm so curious. So I've never been in a position before where I want to think about a meal the first time I'm eligible to leave my house and it's not frowned upon. And I, I'm debating on if it's going to be. Wow, we almost one shot even at minus one. Woof. I'm debating on now if it's going to be sushi or not. We've had Chipotle since quarantine. They they, they were doing online only orders, and I, the 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 vine that used to go around of the little kid who's like, oh my god, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my that's me. Oh my god, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. That is literally me. Uh, Danny wants to learn faint attack. Let's get uh, let's. Uh, I'm I, I don't really need. I'm going to keep it because Dark's not like we've already got Astonish, which it doesn't hit hard, but it's still stab. Ophiana grew to level 17. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the kid. I'm the kid from the vine. Oh, my God. I love Chipotle. Her, this is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some parts from Devin. You want him back that badly? Then take him. Why, thank you, sir. Now get back to your shift. Oh. This must be the Wingle he was talking about. Uh, Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. My Pico owes her life and freedom to you, lad. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, so it's Seabad, is it? No. Then I sincerely thank you, Seabad. If there's ever a thing I can do to help you in turn, don't you hesitate to tell me. If I'm bound to be found, it will always be at my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico. High time we're underway to home. First time I ever played Ruby and Sapphire. Fun fact. Don't think I've talked about this in a Let's Play before. First time I ever played Ruby and Sapphire... I think I skipped the message where he said he was out. Where he was out in his house by there. And I legitimately had no clue where to go. None. I was absolutely just like, uh, okay. <laughs> this is a great Pokemon game. <laughs> what do I do? And I don't actually think I've done this little section over here before in a playthrough. Maybe I have. Um, We can use the experience. I suppose we can use the experience. Yeah, we can keep leveling up, Edwardson. We'll take on these trainers. We learn all sorts of things at the trailer school. I want to test the trailer school. I'm learning how to be a trailer. I want to test things out for real. All right, school kid, Jerry. What do you have for me? Ralts? What do I have for a Ralts? You probably don't only know teleport. You're probably going to, like, I'm going to be lulled into a safe sense of, of, of comfort here and be like, oh, Edwardson can take you on even at its low health. And then I'm just going to get rocked. You probably also don't have a fairy type move yet, but just to be safe, I'm going to go out in a dake. Everybody's getting some screen time today. Everybody, even you. Somebody's probably like, wait a minute. Oh my God, am I on camera right now? 
Yep, there it is. Disarming voice. There it is. It would have been it would have been my grave. Well, I don't know about my grave. I mean, we would have probably taken a big hit with Bufiana, but we we could have we could have taken up. Where are you teleporting from there, champ? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh no. <laughs> Good thing we weren't out in the Herald. Good thing we were not. We'll wrap things up with. How do you how do you write that out in characters? If you want extra credit in the comments this week? Let me know how you verb how you would vocalize the the little. That is extra credit this week for those of you in the comment section. I know somebody did the math. Where it was, where, what, oh my god, what was it? Bubkiss? Bubkiss minus two? Bubkiss divided by two? I gotta go back and look at that now. It was so good. I, I think I pinned the comment. It was on either episode one or two. Oh man, I was rolling. I was rolling left and right. I look like a big roly poly. It was crazy. So we do get an item and then some berries over here? I mean, it's still a good experience for us. School kid Karen and her Togepi. Togepi used metronome. Togepi used explosion. Stop, it's gonna happen now. It's gonna happen now. I think Pank is stronger than Quick Attack. Maybe. Sweet kiss. Haha. -ha. Alas, you did not. Alas, you did not. Let's go for rage. That did nothing. Extra sensory. Oh, that's gonna like. Oh, you're a Togepi. It's not doing too much. Oh, my rage is building. Let's eat it again. Eat the egg. Sweet kiss. Oh no, 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 I don't want to. Don't smooch me. Don't smooch Edwardson. Edwardson doesn't deserve a smooch. Let's just quick attack to finish it off, please. Come on, Edwardson. Oh, it's because I said you don't deserve a smooch. Oh my god, no. Oh, yawn. Okay. Ooh, I was worried. I was like, please no. Please no. I would not like that. <laughs> I would not like green eggs with ham. I would not like them on a bus. I would not like them while you make a fuss. I would not like them. Ooh, covered in dust. I would not like them. If you must. I am the next Dr. Seuss. I'm shocked. I lost? Yes. Yes, you did. Congratulations. You identified that you lost. I'm glad they're teaching you good things in this trainer school. Let's use Casey to cut down that tree. Let's get these berries. Ooh, Chesto berries. That'll be good for the sleeps. But it's sleepings. You eat one of those if you if you sleep in, and then you wake up. Six? Well, in total. Remember when we got four berries in those trees? Those are some super berries. No, let's not plant a berry. Because I will not be back here. I shan't. I shan't return. An ether. An ether. Speaking of when I used to call Dodo's attack furry attack, I also used to call it an ether. Like Esther. An ether. Let's go back and heal up, and then let's go talk to our friend over there at the Devon Corporation. Devon building. The Devon place. Oh, and then let's also take a look at Miles as well in the box. Just to take a look. Just taking a look. Oh. Miles is also timid with Swarm. Miles knows Electroweb, though. Miles knows Electroweb, Scary Face, Constrict, and Leech Life. Is timid. Thoroughly cunning, though, so that might be something. And I guess that means Electroweb's boosted, but like. Because um, I said I was going to get a bold one, wasn't it? That's exactly what happened to me. The game heard me and was like, You thought Karma existed. Well, here you go. Oh, how did it go? Did you get my Devon parts? Oh, you did. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know as my thanks, I'll give you a great ball. Well, thank you for that great ball. I need it for the upcoming encounters that I'm going to get. Oh, yes, young man, please come with me. I always, when I used to watch Nuzlocke's, like, coming up as a content creator when I had free time to, like, just binge watch other people's content, I always enjoyed getting the fishing rod in the next town over, well, as early on in the game as you could, because it was like, yes, I get all these encounters, but it never occurred to me that, like, congratulations, you now have nine water types to choose from. This is the top floor of the Devon Corporation. Our president's office is on this floor. I can't tell you how grateful I am for what you've done for our company. Could you wait here for just a moment? Surely. 
I always enjoyed that because it was like, all right, now we get to go back to all the cities and fish in a lake and get like the random Goldine or Magikarp to put in the box. And then it was like, great, I've got 20 different water types to choose from. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Absolutely. I always thought the president of the Devon Corporation would have a much more significant role given his like status compared to Steven. Ah, uh, hi, Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I heard just now we have quite a bit to thank you for. So you helped out my staff, not just once, but twice. There's a favor I'd like to ask of a reliable trainer like you. I want you to know I'm a president you can trust. I'd never be so mean as to ask a favor for nothing in return. Here, give me your Pokenav Plus for a moment. I'm going to give you my... <laughs> my premium Snapchat. You can now use the BuzzNav function on your Pokenav Plus. The function that I just added to your Pokenav Plus is called BuzzNav. It is an indispensable tool for any trainer who is traveling out in the world. Use it and you'll be able to get the latest news from around the region and from your own friends anytime and any place. Now let me get to the important issue of what it is I need you to do. I want you to I want you to learn how to read. I want to ask you to deliver this letter to a man named Stephen. You should find him in Duford. You'll have to cross the sea to reach Duford, of course. I'll ask Mr. Briney, the old sailor who lives in that hut on Route 104, to help at the crossing. Go find him. He should agree to help you. I'm counting on you, young man. If you're unsure of what to do, just come and talk with me again. Mr. Briney is an old and dear friend of Mr. Stone's. The two of them, along with one other friend, used to travel all the corners of the world together in their youth. Who's the other friend? Mm. Who's the other friend? Uh, who's the other old guy in this game? I don't know anymore. One of you guys gives me something, don't you? Researching Pokemon fossils. Do you have a Pokemon fossil? Bring it to me. Nope. I'm developing new kinds of Pokeballs. Haven't made much headway. Well, that's your own fault. Trash can's empty. Great. Didn't know there's a trash can there. We're developing a device for taking Pokemon, but we haven't had much success. I'm trying to develop a... Reproduce the dreams of Pokemon, and I've heard that my rival who lives far away is doing the same research. I can't lose this race. Oh, is that like a black and white reference? Somebody give me something. I'm just going to walk circles around you. Hi there. You're always welcome here. Golly gee. Thank you. How wonderful of you. Wonderfully kind. Oh, there's May. Oh, hey, Seabad. Have you been catching lots of Pokemon? I'm like doing pretty good on that front, at least. I caught like so many Pokemon in Petalburg Woods that I ran out of Pokeballs. Oh, yeah. And I passed by Mr. Briny when I was in Petalburg Woods. Hmm. I guess he must have been on his way home to his college on Route 104. Seabad, you just moved here, so there's no way you can know. But Mr. Briny was once respected seafarer. You just moved here, but you're obviously an idiot. Thank you. I'm glad they spoon fed enough to I feel like enough people like did not realize that Mr. Briny was the person to talk to. So they were like, uh, we're just we're just gonna we're just gonna let him go do his thing. Can't I cut a tree down somewhere here? Is there or maybe it's down. Nope, nope, nope. It's on the way back to the woods. Never mind. I know what I'm thinking of now. I remembered. I remembered. Pepperidge Farm remembers. There was a tree over here. Nope. Down below. There was a tree over here. Was there not? A tree over here. Yes, I would like to use cut. Thank you. Especially because it's useful in a grass type Pokemon and my fur can learn it. Or revive. Mm, well, I guess that's free money. I'll always take free money. Hello, would you like free money? Yes, I would like free money. I bet, I bet one of you guys would like free money. I think everybody would. I think everybody's like, oh, did he just say free money? Shoot. This guy is spitting. Now there's something. You're not a trainer. Pokemon have plus. That means you're a trainer. You should try this item. Miracle Seed. Yes. All right. I knew there was something good over here. Boost the grass type moves. It boosts the grass type moves. Oh, that's a mossy. Oh, that's a moss stone. Okay. That's the mossy rock. If we ever get an Eevee, we can come back here. Let's give the Miracle Seed to... And then let's grab this item right here. Another great ball. Look at that. We didn't even need to spend our money. No money wasting here. None whatsoever. And then there's another item over here. Oh my god. Next attack. That's either free money or maybe useful. One of the two. I haven't determined that yet. And this is where we end up. Booyah. Route 104. Can I cut anything over here now? I forget if there is anything else that I can go back and do. Is there anything? I guess we can go back and check in... I'm trying to think if there was any cutting in the other town. I don't think there was. So we could have also gotten an Azrael here, which wouldn't have been bad. That actually would have been really sick for an early fairy type with Meryl. But I think that's a friendship evolution. Let's go talk to Mr. Briny. 
All right. And we hit. Nope. And we hit. Aha. Uh, hold on, lass. Belay that, Pico. Oh, if it ain't Seabad, you're the one who saved my Pico. Aye, but we owe you for that day. What's that you want to sail with me? What's all this about then? Letter bound for Duford? Certainly there'd be no problem at all. You've come to the right man. Shall we hoist sail for Duford at once? Let's head over there. Duford, we're coming. Anchors away. Pico, we're setting sail, my darling. Let's head on over to Duford. And that way we can... I, I think we get the fishing rod. We get... Probably like two fishing encounters. We get the cave encounter. Um... We can go from there. I always loved this cutscene when they redid this. This was like super nostalgic for me. All the surfing and stuff. Oh, it was so good. Ahoy, we've struck land in Duford, lad. I suppose you'll be heading ashore to deliver that letter to what's his name or whomever. If you're feeling lost and adrift, though, try calling in on the island's Pokemon gym. The leader Brawly sure knows everyone and everything that goes on in his town. YG, thank you, sir. I appreciate your ever bountiful wisdom. This is a renowned fishing spot. Are you getting the itch to fish? Yes, I hear you, and I like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. Why, thank you. That's what I wanted, because now we can get a magic carp. As an added bonus, I'll even throw in a little fishing advice. First, you want to face the water and then use the rod. Focus your mind, and if you bite, if you bite, if you bite down on your fishing rod, you might lose a tooth. Sometimes you can snag something immediately, but with bigger catches, you'll need to pull time. You need to learn how to read. You need to time the pulls on your rod to haul them in. Thank you, sir. Let's check out... There's a lot to be said for living on a small island in harmony with my Pokemon and my family. I'm glad I just pulled up to sit right next, like right behind him, like I'm giving them a back rub. When I married my husband, I moved here from the large city of Slateport. Life goes by slowly on this little island, but being surrounded by the beautiful sea, that's kind of a happiness too. Wonderful. This Zigzagoon is not moving. That Zigzagoon definitely looked like a stuffed animal to me. Um, oh, a Route 106. So we can probably get two encounters. We can probably, well, a couple encounters. So we can get Route 107. Huh. Interesting. So we can probably get a few fishing encounters if we want them. I might do that. Let's go. There are a few other people I know we need to talk to on this. Be like me and get some super training. Thank you. Guilford is a tiny island community, so if something gets trendy here, everyone picks up on it right away. Like right now, everybody has a TikTok. I don't have a TikTok. Feast your eyes on this. It's a silk scarf. It's the cutting edge of fashion. I can see your eyes twinkling. You appreciate my dazzling style. What a delight you are. Here, please. I want you to have it. That's perfect for Casey because that's going to boost the normal moves. That is lit. Are you here because you heard about Brawly? He's so cool. Everyone idolizes him. You betcha I heard about Brawly. I'm going to wipe the floor with his smug face, and then I'm going to carry on to the next town. Let's switch Casey's Orenberry for the Silk Scarf. That's legendary. We should talk to more people more often. Duford Hall. Everyone exchanges information here. Have you heard about these new potion festivals? I have not heard of potion festivals, I guess. All right. So are there people here? Are you guys going to give me anything? Why are we all talking about potion? What What is a potion festival? What? What? Am I? Am I dumb? Am I? I think I have the dumb. What is a potion festival? All right. I'm... I feel so out of it. What is a potion festival? I am so confused. So we can get a Route 106 and a Route 107 encounter. There's a few trainers that we can get. And then we also do get the Granite Cave encounter. So let's... How many Pokeballs do I have before I like make a fool out of myself? Two Great Balls. Okay, I've actually got quite a bit. Let's get a Granite Cave encounter. Hey you, it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. Well, for us hikers, helping those out that we meet is our motto. Here you go. I'll pass this on to you. Thank you, sir. I needed that. Teach that TM Flash to a Pokemon and use it. It lights up even the inky darkness of caves. All right. Our granite cave encounter is going to be a... A Cubone. Okay. I'm not... Not with it. I'm not... Not with it. 
I'm not like super, yeah, but I'm not like against it. Cubone and Marowak could be a cool, uh, could be a cool combination to have, I suppose. I think we can get one more confusion off and then we can throw a great ball. All right. Oh, if you hit yourself in confusion, that'll help me out even more. Please? No. Okay, that's fine. Imagine this little, like, imagine a Cubone in real life. No, 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 no. I wanted to go to bag. Let, let's just toss Pokeball. Let's just yeet it. What am I going to name a Cubone? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. What do I name you? Hardest part. Hardest part of the Nuzlocke right here. What do I nickname Pokemon? Cubone. What type of Pokemon are you? Oh, oh, it's not even in the Hoenn decks yet. Give a nickname to the Cont Cubone. Yes, please. I would like to name you. Um, I'm going to name you Becca. I said I was going to start naming naming Pokemon after people in the comment section. I go, I go back and forth. If a name jumps out at me, I usually do. So I'm going to name this after Becca, who's been leaving comments on the video. She actually made an incredible meme. Oh my God. I retweeted it on Twitter the other day. It's hysterical. It is absolutely hysterical. You should go check it out. But we're going to heal up because I think we actually have to take on the second gym before we end up going to find Steven Stone to giving him his letter from his dad, which is and, and looking at Mr. Stone's premium Snapchat. So... We're going to wrap up today's episode right here. We're going to wrap up today's episode right here. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode of Sinking Sapphire. If you guys have, show some love on that like button down below. And of course, if you guys are new, feel free to subscribe for more. It's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday series. And uh, it's probably critically acclaimed one of the best series on this channel today. So I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope you guys are looking forward to more. As always, I want to remind you guys to be great and do great. I'll see you on the next video. Later.